you guys remember pick our ass off so let's take a look at the human rights clock 19 journey for today and actually this is my third clock 19 the first one is by vfc under before the human rights license or it's under the g19 models and i got the nova cdm um, slide on it and then i got it black multicam i have a picture shown and uh here and i got the armor on it and pretty much it's like a kuji gun but then um it was too nice of a gun for me to game so then at the end i decided to sell it and then um i was looking at stock gun and back then before marui and Umorax, there were only like other two companies that, that are making it one is kj and one is we and in the end i got a kj ones i also did a review on it you can check that out in the card and i did not really like the kj one as i think it's a bit sloppy on the cycling so i mean i i, I love the my first pfc but it was just too nice of a gun to game with it so and there was there wasn't any other choice so and i, I don't really want to get a pfc again so that's that and now i'm getting a pfc humor x license clock 19 again so um so the box inside you get a hex key and your gun itself and i'm not going to talk too much on the you know the overall markings and the gun itself you can like take a look as i'm talking along and i will mainly talk about how it feels in my hand as you have seen in the video i've done the chrono at the beginning of the video and i've also taken it to the range um in terms of snappiness i think it's pretty well done the recoil is very satisfying and the hop adjustment in here like the like their like the pfc new models that you're adjusting in the guide ward here is very convenient um you don't have to take out the slide and to adjust with a little wheel and in terms of hop of adjustment you know, they give you this has as key in the box when you're clicking it you can actually hear the click um some people might not like that i mean in a traditional wheel adjustment you can make you can make like micro adjustment and here in a click you might get one click too high or one click to a little hop but it's not a life and death situation for me so i'm okay with it as long as it's convenient i mean it is as off so and um well let's talk about things i like don't like um as i mentioned i like the snappiness i like how it's overall making the quality is expected from vfc and things i don't like um as mentioned i take it to range and the accuracy is quite disappointing as stock gun um, you might say i might have it on i mean i may have the gun not properly and blah blah blah, blah but from my personal view, the accuracy is not very good. And one other thing, one other thing that I don't really like is the magazine base plate. When you're refilling the gas, you know you can use your gas can to like pressure this hole and move the plate. But up until a certain point, it was stuck here, and you have to further pull down the thing here in order to remove the plate completely before you can fill the gas. And I have sprayed some lubricants out here as at the beginning it's very tight. So this one thing I think is a bit troublesome to refill the gas, but other than that, I think it's okay overall. Beside the accuracy, of course. Um, as you can see in the range, um, 10 meters, I can hit a palm size metal place and at 50 meters, you just couldn't really hit it every time and i don't even want to try at 20 meters but if you're talking a person standing at 20 meters i'm sure you can hit it but in terms of you know chest size is 
I think it's 50 50 hand size, it's 20 meters, it's pretty much. I mean, in home magazine, you might get one or two hits. So, well, you definitely can upgrade the gun itself, but um, again, um, I'm just getting for review. May, may not keep this, I'm not sure yet. I have pre ordered the uh, Glock 17 Gen 5 from VFC. So, actually, I like, I like the grip one, you know. G17, Glock 17 or 18 better. I, I think the Glock 19 is a bit better on a grip, but I have to measure that. I can't really say it out right now. Um, accessories, there's a hole here, but it's not really for lanyard where you can. It, I think it's mainly for the Matwell. Usually the Matwell, they have a little thing here. It goes in the uh, socket here, and then you screw in tight, screw tight the Matwell, so it's for the Matwell really. So as for X300, it's a very good fit. It doesn't wobble at all. I mean, there's no wobble. Um, I think it's the only gun that I have experienced so far that has a perfect fit with the X300 actually. So, so as mentioned, external features. Not going to talk too much about it. Um, taking down the gun again. I mean. I'm sure everyone knows how to do it. You know, you pull down this thing. But it's a little bit hard to hold both sides down at the same time. It's a bit more difficult than, than usual. I can't get it out at the moment. Well, I've tried before, but it's very difficult. As you're pulling down, um, there's a very stiff spring, so you can't really hold it tight with one hand. I, I, I mean, okay, now I got it here, but in the other side, it's not even, so they do not come down at the same time. So it's pretty hard to grip both ends and then just the slide. Yeah, so take down is pretty hard, but I mean, you're not taking it down every single day, every single time you're taking it out, so I think it's okay to some people. So, overall, this is the Glock 19 Gen 4 by 3FC.